Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily update your Nextcloud server. So the first thing you want to do is log in to the RootPal portal and head over to the plus control panel button and click login. It'll automatically log in to your plus server, which then has your website on it where the Nextcloud instance is installed. So if you already watched the Nextcloud, uh, how to set up your Nextcloud server, you'd click this little Nextcloud icon right here and you can install an instance by clicking install. And if it's not showing up and you do have an instance installed, you can click find existing instance right here. However, to update it, it's very simple. All we need to do is click this button to update it to the newest stable version. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Typically this, ta this takes a second. It shouldn't take that long. I highly recommend um, So that took a little bit longer than expected. It actually took around two minutes to complete the update, which isn't that long, but you know, I, I would give it um, five to 10 minutes. Uh, I'd allow it to run that loading screen for five to 10 minutes before do anything, uh, you know, exiting the screen because it did update successfully. You can see right here, the maintenance mode is now disabled. You can see that it did everything it needed to do um and it ran the next cloud updater so if i click close you'll see on the, i'm on the newest stable version and i can go ahead and click login it should log me into my instance without entering my username or password and i do have two-factor authentication on it so i won't be able to log in which is good you want two-factor authentication when you're storing very private information like this but that's how you update your next cloud server there are also these other action items that if you want to know about them, um, I suggest clicking the little uh, question mark icon and what they do. Uh, so this one will re-index the files and scan and delete the scan for new and deleted ones and clean everything up to make it a little bit faster. Empty the trash completely removes anything in the trash bin. So if you delete something on Nextcloud, it's actually not act. If you delete a file on Nextcloud, it's not actually deleted. It gets put in the trash for a temporary amount of time until you empty the trash or it automatically empties based on the settings that you have set up in your next cloud server. So you can set up to, you know, maybe auto automatically delete the trash after X amount of days or months or whatever, or you come in here and you empty it right here. Repair installation will, you know, scan and automatically fix next cloud uh, installation issues. So anytime it's having an issue you're unaware of, this will just repair the installation and get it all going. Um, and then you have these other icons down here where you can click this to download the Nextcloud client to your desktop or your mobile. And you can connect your Nextcloud server to your desktop client or your iPhone or I, um, your iPhone. So yeah. That's pretty good. Well, I'll be creating videos on how to do that as well in the future. Um, but that's how you update your next cloud server. Thank you.